Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters. We're out here doing the work of the Most High in Kumasi, Ghana. From what we've heard thus far, uh, President uh, Donald Trump has just signed an executive order approximately three days ago. That was about Friday, I believe it was. Uh, we're gonna read exactly what it entails and go into the scriptures to show that it's Bible prophecy, all right? It says, British citizens traveling to America on United Kingdom passports will be blocked from entering if they have dual citizenship with countries targeted in Donald Trump's ban on refugees. America for President, uh, your friend of Donald Trump, I signed a law that uh, says, all your British need, not say, who took one about America, not say, who said your citizen or other nations, let's say, Iraq, won't me my acronym. It says the United States Department said that Britons with dual citizenship with Syria, Iraq, Iran, Sudan, Libya, Somalia, and Yemen will be stopped at the U.S. border for the next 90 days. Um, America for President Donald Trump has said, so you're Brit Britain for citizen. Not say what side a citizen will acquire a friend of Syria, Iraq, Iran, Sudan, uh, Somalia, Libya, and Yemen, or maybe detain you 90 days. However, in a separate development last night, a U.S. judge issued a temporary halt on the deportation of people who had already arrived in the U.S. with valid visas, but were being denied entry at border control. The United States Department said travelers who have nationality or dual citizenship, so meaning, if you were born in Syria or Iraq or Libya or Yemen uh, or dual citizenship, dual nationality of one of these countries will not be permitted for 90 days to enter the United States or be issued an immigrant or non-immigrant visa. I feel so America for law be long as one more can and they say, say you yeah, were Syria and I say you yeah, were Yemen and I say you yeah, were well, Iran. Won't me my acronym for 90 days. Okay. So according to the Holy Scriptures, give me Mark 3 and, is it 31 I want? Yeah. Where it says, watch and well as a prayer. Mark 13, 13. Okay. The book of Mark chapter 13, verse 33. Okay. Take heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is. So when Christ says watch and pray, watch means observe the things that's occurring in the world. Okay, you understand? Watch the chain of events that's happening and compare them with the scriptures. So we have to be able to do that. So uh, President Trump just uh, set up a ban, okay? When we go to the Apocrypha in 2nd Esdras, chapter 15, let's start at verse uh, 14, let's start there. So we'll call Mark chapter uh, 13, verse 33. Uh, Bible nature says, say, say, yeah, 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 Okay, so read that. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 45. 2nd Ezra 15, start at 14. 14. Woe to the world, and they that dwell therein. For the world and for the sword and their destruction draw near. And one people shall stand up to fight against another, and sword in their hands. For there shall be seduction among men, and valid among one another. They shall not regard the kings nor prince, and the cause of their actions shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So that's the part I wanted to get to. What verse was that one? 17. 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. So that's what we're living in right now, okay? The ban is preventing from men from traveling into America and other cities based on this recent ban. This whole thing is leading up to, read the verse before that, go two verses before that. For there shall be sedition among men. There shall be seditions among men. And invalid one another. And invading, and invading one, another. one another. Go ahead. They shall not regard their kings nor prince. When it says they shall not regard their kings or princes, that's going into terrorists. They don't care what the leaders of the country say. They're going to do what they want to do. They're angry at society. They're angry at the uh, imperialism of the world. So they're going to fight to try to bring down Babylon and her allies. Go ahead. And the cause of their actions shall stand in their power. Right, and the cause of their actions shall stand in their own power. 
Okay. And a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Uh huh. That's what's going on right now. For because of their pride. For so because of their pride, Donald Trump has a lot of pride. The president of the United States, he has a lot of pride. Go ahead. Their cities shall be troubled. Their cities shall be troubled. That goes back to the cost of their power shall stand on their side. Because these terrorists are going to cut loose in the countries. Go ahead. And their houses shall be destroyed. And their houses shall be destroyed. And many shall be afraid. And many people shall be afraid. This is what we're reading, the Bible. Go ahead. And men shall have no pity upon their neighbors. <laughs> and they shall not have pity on their neighbors. Go ahead. And shall destroy their houses with the sword. When it says destroy their houses with the sword, it's going into missiles. Because a regular sword can't destroy a house. So it's talking about missiles. Go ahead. And spoil their goose. And spoil their, their goods, take their bread. wealth. Because of what? The lack of bread. Because of the lack of bread. Okay, the economies are bad in these, those seven nations that we just read about in the article. Okay. Yeah. Did you want to touch, read on that? Yes. Translate. So, once in some of Donald Trump, I can in the Bible. Jump in. Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 15 down in the corner. Now, Bible nature said, no, I know my own in our Bible. Now, Bible say, a maybe beba, a nipper person to coin call Amanoni or Montenegro, Ocean in the Dinner of Boy, Syria, and Libya, and Yemen, Somalia, South Korea, or more so much to coin about a tree. But moon to me, my way by the Bible, and I hear no mass why any day is easy. Okay, what verse did you leave off at? Verse 19. Verse 19. Go ahead. Read stuff, stuff from 19 again. Okay. A, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor and spoil their goose because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Go ahead. Behold, says God. I will call together all the kings of the earth. So because of these doings, God said he's going to call together all the kings of the earth. Go ahead. To revenge me. To reverence me. Go ahead. Which are from the rising of the sun. Which is from the rising of the sun, which is the east. From the south. From the south. From the east. From the east. From Labanus. From, what's that? Labanus? Libya. 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 <laughs> Go ahead. To return themselves one against another. To turn themselves one against another. Right. And repay the things that they have done to them. See that? To repay the things that they have done to them. Where the them? The Israelites. So God is going to bring all this about to repay the things that they have done to us. Right. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Captain O'Shea. And go back to 2nd Edges 15 and 18. Read that again. Because, hey, Second like Ezra. the bishop was saying, it's our Bible prophecy. Now, listen to this one scripture again. Listen. 2nd Ezra, chapter 15, verse 18. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled. Hold on. Because of their pride, like Donald Trump pride, the city trouble. Just even looking at CNN this morning, they got um, all type of protests going on throughout the cities. The city's trouble. Even at, now they in the middle of the airport. Protesting, you ain't never seen it done before in history. Well, people in the middle of the airport protesting. Uh, read that again from the top. For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. And it said, Men shall be afraid because a lot of people know that hey, it's something bad thing to happen after this. Like, soon as uh, Trump put a band up, now Iraq got a band up, now it's disrupting business, you know what I'm saying? It's causing all type of uh. In, in order, this order. Okay, uh, second Ezra 15, verse 18. Now, Bible they say America for and I said Donald Trump, a moon war war, a moon. No more war war, more war war, moon in an ama, a yas is a say, a yas is a son. It's some bad nobody at all. A rap force, no, say business, a moon to me in your business. Dear, when you know your no mind, the Bible no a treacherous says, son, no more in your business. It's not kind Bible no say, you may in the hole, near shit and no matter cost so as I see so near front of Bible no. Yeah, they talk Bible now. You don't say Bible yet. Eh, no problem. Right. Read verse twenty again. Verse twenty. Behold, says God, I will call together all the kings of the earth. I will call together all the kings of the earth to reverence. To reverence me, which are from the rising of the which sun. Are from the rising of the sun. From the south. From the south. From the east. From the east. And Lebanon. Lebanon is Lebanon. Lebanon. I made a mistake earlier and said Libya, but it's Lebanon. Go ahead. To return themselves one against another. To turn themselves one against another. Go ahead. Repay the things that they have done unto them. So God's repaying the nation, the, the nations, the things that they have done to the 12 tribes of Israel. So everything we're seeing is a result of what the nations did to our people. 
Okay, so our, we're not commanded to protest against what's happening. Just sit back and enjoy the ride. That's all Israel can do. Okay, it's going to be some dangerous times. Watch this. Get Nahum. Okay. Second Ezra 15 verse 20 now. I say now pombe fefe. We are someone in now move. We be free the south from the east. We be free Lebanon. No money neither. Omo baku. E kwa no mo kona. E e judgment now now pombe atu mo so e wo no mo ma yin. Aye yin Israelite for ni na. Ti no mo kosi biya yin ngopo ene e biya. Even though e no mo e be yehu ba men show because e chance e biya e kosi biya ni she ngopo ponsa. And to men, men, so men, just a kind men could protest, the men you be out. It's not the not can't can kind of Bible, not funny to Yanko Ponzo. Okay, so let's go to the book of Nahum, chapter three. Nahum, chapter three. We got it yet? Nahum, chapter three, verse one. Verse 13. Verse 13. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. You see what's happening? Thy people in the midst of thee are women. Look at all the various protests. The majority of the people are women going wild. Even Black Lives Matter, majority is women. Look at these protests in the airports, majority women. Women are complaining, mad, are in an uproar. And all that's used is try to get sympathy to get what they want. Read it again. Behold, thy people in the midst of thee are women. Mm -hmm. The gates of thy land shall be set wide open. The gates of the land, meaning here, shall be set wide open. The gates of this land have been set wide open. Watch these women protest on CNN. Let them in. Let them in. I mean, let who in? Watch what it says. Unto, oh, I mean, <laughs> Go ahead. the gates of thy land shall be set wide open unto thy enemies. Unto your enemies. Those are the terrorists that Donald Trump, the president of America, his claim is he wants to prevent them from coming in. The majority of them are already here, okay, like canker worms. But you got these women and other, these men, feminine spirits, let them in. Let who in? The enemies of the country. Go ahead. The fire shall devour thy bars. The fire shall divide. This is prophecy. This place is going under. Go ahead. Draw thee waters for the sea. Uh huh. Fortify thy strongholds. So what the Bible is saying is that it's going hell's about to break loose. Okay, y'all sit back and get ready. Okay, Nehemiah book now. Nahum. Nahum book now. Now upon church where say any day any poor mo I would to me want to say that eh ma because we hear the CNN protest protest now because now eh ma any day a day anymore. My Bible and the Sutra say, even though Donald Trump of a saw yeah, no prevented error for no more tourists, not by America, no. But I, I tourists for no more America already. Bible and the Send no more echoes in your name. Now, Bible, my day. And the question, Bible, you're in the crib. Right. These terrorists already in America. They're already in Europe and all the European allies. So, Israel, I'm telling you, this is, we got to repent of our sins. Definitely. We must repent and get ready. Because the Lord is going to come. But he's going... There's going to be trouble in various cities. Like another scripture says, the city shall be much troubled. It's not going to be all out chaos in America, but in each city, there's going to be seditions. There's going to be terrorist activity. It's going to happen here and there, here and there, here and there. Let's save the Lord. It is here. I say, watch it. No man ever saw we are seeing now. Me a show say we we Israelite are also. But I dare say, I am saying, I saw the sun every morning home. I saw such. I shall say, I keep on yango pon the marasem so because I keep on yango pon the marasem now. Send no more cause we nine day, or yam to show. And no more busy see what I brought chain as I see so baby, but my yam to show. So which was the sound of a brabo, now the young upon some so I send no more in our money. All right. So, you brothers from Ghana, give me your names again Michael. Michael, what's your name? Mas. Mas. Manasha. Manasha. Dennis. Dennis. Right. Right. Yanai. Yanai. Daniel. Daniel. Hosea. Right. So, you brothers have to study. All right. You have to study because what? You're going to represent the Most High God here. So you have to learn the scriptures, learn the commandments. That's the milk. That's where you start off first. Then you get to the other thing. Y'all understand? No buying on the Sabbath. No eating bacon, pork. You got to learn the commandments. Y'all have to learn these commandments. And to Oshé, unsa kamera ni et et kono Oshé. Ye ni amo mo gana. Omo si ni amo pandom. Omo sa shoma. Omo omo chio mo he every boni omo so mi di ni amo pom epe so mo ye. So I brought this way in now on Pombo and Che, on Mogana, I say no, Omna, a bedding, a bit dear Nimu, a church, and Yango Pong, Asem, no Sano. Now omits me a chain, you know more Mogana, honey. Gana have a beer and every bono, no moon now, but Yango Pong, Asem, no. And see a bomb price omits me a swing and ye, no more so et me a church, you know, a man in man, yen, and no more or more Gana, I say. All right, with that, we all say shalom. 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 Shalom.
Shalom, Israel. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.